the normal distribution and the 68, 95 and 99.7 rule. The normal distribution is a continuous probability distribution. It can be used to model many naturally occurring characteristics, such as height of people within a given population, weight, time, blood pressure, scientific measurements, and so on. It is also called the Gaussian distribution, and due to its shape, it's often referred to as the bell curve. It's perfectly symmetrical, the mean is equal to the median and the mode, and it has an asymptote at each end. The total area under the curve is always equal to 1 and has points of inflection at mean, plus and minus the standard deviation. A continuous random variable can take infinitely many values. The probability that a continuous random variable takes exactly a specific value is 0. Because of this, we look for probabilities that it takes values within a given range. In general, we refer to data we get from a population as parameters. These are mu, representing the mean, and sigma, representing the standard deviation. Whereas the data we get from a sample is called a statistic, and the symbols used for the mean and standard deviation are x bar and lowercase s. These histograms show the distribution of adult heights in a particular city. As the class width reduces, the distribution gets smoother, so it approaches more and more the bell-shaped curve. We can model these heights using a normal distribution with mean of 175 cm and standard deviation of 12 cm. If x is a normally distributed random variable, we write this as x is normally distributed with mean mu and variance sigma squared, where mu is the population mean and sigma squared is the population variance or standard deviation squared. The mean determines the position of the normal distribution curve. For example, let's start with the standard normal distribution, where the mean is equal to 0 and standard deviation is equal to 1. If we decrease or increase the mean, we can see that the curve will move left or right according to the mean value, because the data will always cluster around the mean value in normally distributed populations. The shape of the curve will stay the same because we keep the standard deviation the same. The standard deviation determines the spread of the data. The larger the standard deviation, the wider the curve. The smaller the standard deviation, the narrower and taller the curve. Regardless of the shape of the curve, the area under the curve is always equal to 1 or 100% because it represents the total probability. The 68, 95, 99.7 rule. As represented in this graph, approximately 68% of the data lies within one standard deviation of the mean. Approximately 95% of the data lies within two standard deviations of the mean. Nearly all of the data, 99.7%, lies within three standard deviations of the mean. If x is normally distributed with a mean of 4 and a variance 2 squared, what is the probability that the x is between 2 and 6? The standard deviation is 2. 4 minus 1 standard deviation is equal to 2, and 4 plus 1 standard deviation is equal to 6. We can see that this represents a range of mean plus minus 1 standard deviation. This is 68%, so the probability is 68%. For part b, find the probability that the x is between 0 and 8. In this situation, we can see that 4 minus 2 standard deviation is 0, and 4 plus 2 standard deviation is 8. This represents 95%, so the probability is 95%. Question 2. X is normally distributed with a mean of 4 and standard deviation 1. Find the probability that X is less than 4. As you can see it on the shaded sketch, this represents half of the data, so the probability is 50%. Part B. Find the probability that X is less than 5. We already know that less than 4 represents 50%. The standard deviation is 1. 4 plus 1 standard deviation is 5, therefore this pink area represents 34% from the 68, 95, 99.7 rule. So the probability of x being less than 5 is equal to 50% plus 34% is equal to 